Hello. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to build cumulative frequency line charts with ggplot2. We are going to use the same database, demo, and we will create a cumulative frequency line chart for the variable income. OK, first of all, let's load the packages we need, the ggplot package, and then the plier package, because I need the count function from this package. OK, now let's create a new data frame with the unique income values and their absolute frequencies, their counts. I will name this data frame my data. OK, now let's see the data frame my data. So here in this column income, I have all the values of the variable income. And in the second column, frac, I have all the absolute frequencies for these values. Now let's compute the cumulative counts and then the cumulative percentages. Uh, to compute the cumulative counts, the variable cumul, I'm going to use the function comsum in the base R. And I will use, of course, the frac column of the data frame, my data, this one. Let's run this. And to compute the cumulative percentages, I will simply divide the cumulative counts by the number of rows of the variable demo. In other words, the number of cases in the data frame demo. OK. And now let's add the cumulative frequencies column to the initial my data matrix. So to the, to the matrix, to the data frame my data, I'm going to add a new column called COMPARC, the cumulative frequencies column. Let's see it. So now, for each unique value of the variable income, I have the cumulative relative frequency, the cumulative percentage. OK, now I'm able to plot the chart. Let's plot a smooth line first, using the function geom line. So here I have to define my data frame, which is called my data. And in the aesthetics function, I have to indicate the variables on the axis x and y. So the income on the x-axis and the cumulative percentages, variable comparc, on the y-axis. Let's build the chart. And this is it. You can notice it here. If you want to plot a stepped line, you will use the function geom step instead. The options are exactly the same. Let's do that. Now here in this chart, you have the stepped line. Now let's create a grouped cumulative frequency line. We will build a cumulative frequencies line chart for the variable income, the same variable. But each, but, but this time, sorry, for each gender group. So a line for the male group and another line for the female group. First of all, we have to create two data frame by gender using the brackets in base R. So the data frame male will contain only the male subjects. And the data frame female will contain only the female subjects. Let's create and view them. OK. The male database is this one. And the female database is this one. Female. Now we have to do the same things as before, but this time for both data frames separately. So now for the male data frame, we get the unique income values and then compute the cumulative relative 
sorry, here relative frequencies, the cumulative um, percentages. Okay, with the same formula ex uh, exactly like before, but now I have called uh, the data frame my data mail and uh, the cumulative uh, counts and the cumulative percentages cumul m m and uh, comparc m i put here uh, the letter m from mail let's run all this okay and now let's add the cumulative relative sorry uh, so the cumulative relative frequencies column to the variable my data mail uh, to the data frame my data mail excuse me and now let's see how this um, uh, data set uh, my data mail looks like so here for each value of the income we have in the comparc m column uh, the uh, cumulative percentage now let's do exactly the same thing for the female data frame okay so we are going to create a new data frame my date female uh, which will contain uh, uh, the counts for the values of the variable income and then we will um, compute the cumulative uh, relative frequencies cumul f uh, the cumulative uh, uh, counts cumul f and the cumulative percentages cumul perc f with the same formulas let's run these three rows okay now let's add uh, the cumulative percentages uh, to the data frame my data female with the c bind function and now let's see the data frame my data female again for each unique value of the income we have the uh, cumulative uh, relative frequencies but now of course for the uh, female uh, subjects only now we can build the chart because we have the cumulative percentages for both for both uh, lines for both groups male and female as you notice here we have two geom line functions in this fu in the first function sorry uh, the data frame is my data mail uh, on the y-axis we have the cumulative percentages for the male uh, subjects and here i set the color for this line to red uh, and uh, here in the second geom line function the data frame is my data female and on the y-axis i have the cumulative percentages for the female subjects and i set the color here to blue so i can visualize easily the two lines on the same chart let's run this now Here's our chart. We have both um, cumulative frequency lines for male and female subjects. If you want a stepped line, of course, you must replace geom line with geom step. The syntax remains the same. What to do if you want to add a legend to the chart? First of all, we will create a new variable, LGD, using the function scale color manual. In this function, we first specify the title of our legend. Let's call it legend, simply. And here, in the values option, you must assign a color code to each gen gender group. So, for example, the male group uh, will have assigned the red color the red code and the female group will have assigned the blue code and you have to do that using the c the concatenate function let's create the variable lgd okay and now 
to build the histogram with a legend in the geom line uh, functions, each of them, you have to add this option, color equal to male for the first line, for the male group, and now the program knows that the male color is red, because I defined it here, and color equal to female for the female group, because the program knows now that uh, the uh, female color, the female code is blue. Uh, here I, I have also added uh, the option size. I want to make the lines a bit thicker, so the size will be 1.3. The default value is 1. And don't forget to add the LGD variable at the end, with the plus um, before, of course. Now let's run all this to get our chart. That's it. It's very pretty. Just a moment. Okay. So hit the chart with the two frequency lines with the legend. That's all. Thank you.